Did you know that multiple deaths reported each year due to falls on a job site? A death that could have been prevented by the proper use of a safety harness or other type of fall protective equipment. Imagine attending a funeral for someone dear to you because he or she fell three stories off a job site. A life that was lost due to the improper use of a safety harness. A, a death that could have been prevented with proper training. Good morning. For my job skill demonstration, I will be teaching you the proper and effective way to safely secure and use a safety harness. According to OSHA, a safety harness is fabricated from webbing, cable, and a locking device. A safety harness is composed of a few main parts, such as the D-ring, chest straps, back straps, and leg straps. A safety harness should also be accompanied with a self-locking snook, snook clamp, a self-locking snook stop clamp, a single lanyard, a twin lanyard, and some sort of shock absorber. Keep in mind that once a shock absorber has been used, you can no longer use a safety harness again. According to according to OSHA, a safety harness should be attached to a building from the anchorage point that can withstand a thousand pounds of jerking tension. To begin, you grab your safety harness by the D-ring, shake to allow all straps to fall freely. Grab your safety harness by the straps and put on like a jacket. To begin, make sure there are no knots or twists in your safety harness. Your first step is to grab your leg clamp and attach to the buckle like so. Repeat with your second leg. At this time, you want to make sure that there are no loose ends falling from your leg. If there is a waist belt present at this time, you want to connect the clamp now. Next, you want to buckle your chest strap. At this time, you want to tighten all straps, snug, but to allow full range of movement. Take the lanyard, like so, attach to your D-ring, and lock. As you can see that no matter how hard you try, it will not come off. Your rope will be attached to the anchorage point, which again is connected to a roof that can withstand a jerking tension of a thousand pounds. To conclude, to recap, hold your harness by the back D-ring and shake to allow all straps to fall freely. Make sure that the D-ring is centered in your back, facing up. Buckle both leg straps tight enough to allow full range of movement. Buckle your chest strap or always strap if there was, is one present. Tighten all straps, and this is how your safety harness should look when it is on correctly. According to, according to OSHA, before you begin, you should you should make sure that there are no defects in your safety harness. You should check for things like distortion in the buckles or the D-ring, bent sharp edges or other distortion will cause the safety harness to fail. You should check the rivets in your safety harness because rivets will, will fail under pressure. In conclusion, in conclusion, the correct way to use a safety harness will be the reason why you or someone you know today is alive. Thank you. Thank you.